Hi there, it's George Cigar, back from another cigarette review, and tonight I got Newport Reds, and these are the 100s. Take a look at the pack, it says uh, Newport in red, and these are known as the non menthol. Uh, it's really strange to have a brand that has to specify that um, it's not a menthol cigarette because Newports obviously are known for their um, menthol cigarettes, which are the same pack except it's green. Uh, yeah, so that's the front and like a little Nike symbol uh, reversed the bottom, exact same thing. Uh, yeah, top, bottom, etc, etc. So it says Newport non-menthol box 100s. Uh, here's one of the side, it says FSC on here and yeah these cigarettes do not present reduced risk of harm compared to other cigarettes. Um, it doesn't say additive free, and it's not an additive free cigarette, so I don't know what they, why they, they put that on the, the packet. These are made by Lorillard and Lorillard Company. Little flakes of tobacco on the pack. And uh, yeah, it says here Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah, so. Uh, North Carolina is known for being the cancer factory of the, of the United States. FSC barcode, etc., etc. 20 glass A cigarettes. And uh, well, uh, I find that pack, I don't want to offend anybody, but I don't think this is the best looking pack uh, I've seen uh, in, in, in all the cigarettes I've smoked. It's one of the, you know, it's very plain, very very generic looking. It looks like um, a box of uh, perhaps a prescription drugs or something like cough mixture. Or, yeah, it looks much like uh, much like that. Uh, the, yeah, it looks nothing fancy. I mean, the gold gold band, the Newport, and yeah, red. Uh, it's red red pack with um black stripes. And just says cigarettes on the bottom, and you got no no text like you get on a packet of Camel, uh, saying, "Well, we used uh, the best and smoothest uh, tobaccos." Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Surgeon General's warning here. Yeah, quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risks to your health. Uh, that's a nice. That's nice, but uh, I don't give a fuck. Okay, now take a look at the cigarette I've got here. I know the king size version is um, has a shorter cork wrapper around the, the filter and, a, and an overlapping paper which basically makes a, about the same size as a, uh, the filter of Marlboro or something. The, the filter is about the same size, it's just a, the wrapper around it. And um, here it's the same story except that uh, being a 100, the filter is is uh, much longer. Not much longer. It's very. It's not a very very long filter for a 100. Uh, yes, it's very uncommon. It says new port in red, gold band, and overlapping paper. So let's get fired up. Sorry, hmm? the the camera is a bit shaky. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to stop hitting the, the table. Yeah, right out of the bat, and it's it's good. It's a good cigarette. This is my. My um, my last no, I got a, I still got one after this one, so I went through the whole pack. Uh, it's very pleasant to smoke. It's very strong and kind of harsh. There is a slight chemical taste, but nothing. Nothing that would make you you vomit or something. It's it has a, it has slight. I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes it's a little 
a little more taste out of the paper. Uh, I think I forgot my history in here. Give me a second. Yep. Yep. Sorry for that. That's not really. So, what are you doing here, Doc? Get the fuck out of here. It's very similar in taste to a Marlboro Red. And uh, I guess it's the, it's the goal of it. It's to, to challenge Marlboro Reds. And I've heard these are, are cheaper than, uh, than uh, what's called premium brands like uh, Marlboro's, Camel's. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, in fact. Uh, it's about the same price as l and stuff like that. Uh, the menthol, uh, just about um, the same price as other cigarettes, but the non-menthol version, the full flavored here, the reds, reds, most people call them reds, but in fact it says Newport non-menthol. Huh? Uh, it's, what was I going to say? Yeah, the, um, the menthol is um, is uh, priced about the same as uh, premium brands, or even I've heard it, it's a little more expensive even than the, um, the regular Marlboro Reds and stuff like that. Nice, nice, full, thick, dense body. Yeah. Taste though, it's not my favorite cigarettes. I mean, of all the cigarettes I've tried from the US, United States, which just just a few brands like maybe the Camel, Camel Wilds, Camel Non-Filter, Lucky Strike Non-Filter, um, yeah, Palmel Non-Filter, <laughs> the premium quality cigarettes, of course, and the Marlboro Reds and yeah. Those, uh, this is my, and the Winston Red, shut up, and <laughs> this is, um, this is my least favorite, but I wouldn't say it's a bad smoke, not at all. I mean, if you're on, if these are cheaper, I would consider buying them. Um, yes, it's, it's good enough to be, to be an everyday smoke, I know, um, Hatch the Smoker smoke. Smokes these most of the time now. A little faster burning than uh, what I like, but oh, just about average. It's a it's a very nice cigarette, and it's it's powerful at the same time. I mean, I've I've tried to smoke them hard, and these are they were even harsher than uh, the palmelon filter. I mean, I couldn't take more than five or six bags um, in a row out of these. Because after that, it, it, uh, it was uh, a little harsh on the throat, but like, not, like, uh, not like inhaling a cigar. It's more like a, a scratch of, um, yeah, is it the chemicals? Is it the... I don't know really what's what's the the, the scratchiness of it, uh, what it come from what it comes. Yeah, in taste it's very similar to Marlboro Red, but it's a typical American blend like uh, mostly Burley and Virginia, with um, maybe some type of a uh, uh, Oriental style. Oriental, sorry, I keep saying Oriental, Oriental, um, taste with it, uh, mix in, uh, in the blend. These gap, the difference, the big difference between uh, stronger and um, a little lighter cigarettes is that the you can get a, a good buzz from a light cigarette if you pass the perforations and and and, and so on. You and and pull a hardened cigarette, you can get a buzz, but it's not that long lasting of a buzz. Like I mean, you you take your camel non filter, you smoke it fur you smoke it first in the morning. It's gonna you're gonna be like high or you get a nicotine buzz for 
about 10 minutes, uh, which, uh, which an, uh, a lighter cigarette won't give you. And this is about doing the, the, the same. It's a little, little less nicotine than, uh, than the unfiltered, of course. About similar to, yeah, it's very similar to the Marlboro Reds. Ah, I'm already hitting the, the overlapping paper, that, that's going to be my last day. Yeah, it did burn even, even for the most. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, it's, uh, sorry, just stop it out. Uh, there is one line of perforation on the filter. Uh, yeah, one line of uh, small perforations on it. But most cigarettes, if not all cigarettes, all filter cigarettes have perforation on the filter. Just to make them a little lighter. And uh, you get a light cigarette, you get more perforations. Generally, it's most of the things is done on the, on the filter and also the paper, but more on the on the filter. So uh, that was it for this review. It's got it's a decent cigarette. I mean, it's I would give it a seven and a half out of ten. It's not something I would uh, I would buy for a very expensive price. Like uh, if it, if it was nine dollars and the Marlboro was uh, something like eight, uh, no, I never I would never buy these. But if it's uh, a buck or two cheaper cheaper. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good, good cigarette. Um, I've had a lot worse, uh, and I've had a lot better. Sorry if you, if you like these. I'm not, it's not my favorite cigarette, honestly. It's got, it's got um, some, some kind of Marlboro taste to it, but not quite hitting the spot. Um, yeah, quality budget cigarettes, I would say. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I don't think I, I forgot something. Uh, well, if you want me to talk about the history of the brand, it got introduced in 1957 by Laurelard. Uh, they were only menthol and uh, with a white filter until 1969, where they when they switched to a regular cork style wrapper around the filter. Um, yes, and they, they changed uh, the packaging somewhere in the 70s or so. I don't remember exactly. And the, the, the reds are m much... Uh, they, they are newer, a newer version. They were available in, available in, the, in the 1990s until 2010. Uh, yeah, the 2002 or something, and then they got reintroduced in 2010. So it's been on and off, and I think it's a very popular brand. Um, the menthol are very popular, with, especially with black people. Like, uh, yeah, I know it's a stereotype, but I've seen, I've seen it so much uh, that what, what, generally black people smoke menthol cigarettes. I don't know why, or if it's just a market, marketing thing about about focusing on them, or I don't know. Um, teens also like the menthol, Newport menthol is a very light cigarette among, among uh, teens and people that are somewhat broke. Yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm feeling it's not going to be my best review, but uh, I got nothing more to say about this. Thanks for watching.